And with the months coming to an end, here's a couple of Blender add-ons and also some pretty cool discounts that you probably missed. At the same time, we're going to do a few comparisons of some add-ons that are currently available and some new ones that you can now get. And with that said, let's get right into it. The Advanced Car Paint Shader, which is a fully procedural material shading tool that you can now use inside of Blender, is available from the folks at Lazy3D. This is a free tool that works alongside your asset browser and allows you to achieve ultra-realistic car paint finishes in your Blender project. So from adding dust, rust, leaks and so on, you do have all of these cool tools to start adding that realistic set of details in your cars. So whether you're thinking about adding procedural flakes, all the way to scratches and some interesting decals to bring that realistic look to your vehicle, this now allows you to do all of that. More so, the folks at Lazy3D have also released some more interesting stuff and one of them includes the physical cable add-on which is a next generation simulation tool for those who like to simulate cables. So if you're thinking about creating cables and you like these cables to respond to physics, possibly you like to have a simulated cable draping on element and off element, then you can simply use this and do all of that. This comes with 20 plus different variations which would allow you procedurally create different kinds of cables and tweak them however you please. So if you're looking for a cable tool that supports simulation, cable tool that supports dynamic braking and also nice looking physics then this is an amazing one for you. There is just a whole lot of things that you can do like attaching dynamic objects to hang over the cable and even more stuff. And for those who like to get this, this is currently doing a 50% launch offer for the first 120 people, so do well to check it out. Additionally, the folks at Lazy3D have also put out this cool one which is called the Jungle Biome Generator. And this biome is part of their Naturescape Pro add-on which is a standalone that you can use. So for those who are thinking about working with this or possibly you're thinking about creating some very cool looking jungles and you like to do this really quickly inside of Blender, then this is all yours. At the same time, if you like to consider taking a look at the Naturescape Pro with a procedural biome generator, this is also available and it's got a lot of things to offer. And for those who like to take a look at these ones and possibly you would like to see more stuff from the folks at Lazy3D, then links to this alongside some of the discounts that they're currently offering is going to be in the description. So do well to check them out. Atir has just recently released Omnistep and Omnistep is a scriptable first person controller that you can use to start building your world inside of Blender as this is a highly customizable and scriptable first person controller more like what you've got with AAA games as it comes with a couple of interesting movement mechanics, collision responses and input handling and with this you can simply create, explore and record movements inside of Blender as this also supports a walk and flying mode. There's a smart collision system and also spawning points. Additionally, this this supports scripting which simplifies the mode of prototyping inside of Blender, making Blender somewhat a versatile tool for game development. And this features a good number of things, from physics all the way to prototyping, this is super cool. And if you do have a game controller, or probably you like to explore your scenes with your keyboard and mouse, this is also suitable for that. And it is quite interesting to see that Omnistep is now available and will give more Blender artists options of creating prototyping and collaborating with each other. And recently, the developer also showcased a multiplayer mode which allows multiple Blender users to actually connect and work on the same file at the same time. And it is quite interesting and for those who like to explore this, then link is going to be in the description. Blender Reese has just recently unveiled and released the world shader for Blender 4.0 and this is a very interesting tool for those who like to create welding or possibly you like to make this kind of shading effect in Blender and it is quite interesting that this tool is now available and he's giving this totally out for just a dollar as it does come with a couple of parameters that you can use to tweak this and get the most out of it. At the same time, Blender has released a couple of interesting stuff over time and we've covered some of these on the channel. So for those who like to see some of the free things that he has or maybe you like to support and check out some of the nice things that he has on the storefront, links to this is going to be in the description for you to come through and get all of this. The lazy animation from Miu is an amazing set of animation tools that you can now use to create pretty cool and quick animation. And the lazy animation is an add-on designed specifically for Blender artists in that simplifying the process of creating animations. And this comes with a couple of interesting things which allows you to do quick keyframing, attach objects to a custom part, animate and synchronize multiple objects at the same time, reverse animations and so much more. 
Additionally, there are most of that you can get on their Gumroad and I'm going to put a link to this in the description. And for those who are looking for more amazing stuff, right now Miu is doing a discount for literally everything on their page, which includes the Rockmaster, Terrain Master, Frost Eyes, the Scene Optimization Tool, which is really, really good, the Woodmaster and Hand Drawn Line Generator that we have talked about on the channel. And all of these are doing a 15% offer except for the Terrain Master Tool, which is currently doing a 25% off. So if you'd like to get any of these, you can simply come through and grab them now. Patricio has recently released the Ubaniak Law Enforcement, and this is a follow-up of Ubaniak Industrial District, which comes to a good number of assets for those who like to start creating industrial-looking scenes in Blender. It is also quite interesting that they've doubled down on that and created this brand new one, which is volume one of Law Enforcement. And this as well does come with some interesting assets for those who are thinking about creating a law enforcement scene. So maybe you're looking at creating prisons, you need a couple of vehicles, or possibly you need some ammunition and some very interesting assets that you can use to make your scene look cooler, then you do have all of this. And for the assets and vehicles, these also come with some interesting parameters that you can use to add effects to them. And this works alongside your asset library, which makes it super easy for you to piece things apart, tweak them to your hat content. And currently, the Urbaniac Building Generator, which has been updated, is now currently 35% off. And for those who like to take a look at the city asset pack or the street road and highway asset packs, these are currently available and updated for you. And speaking about stuff that are currently updated, the folks at Evermotion, they have put out a couple of nice and cool stuff. And this has to do with the Aki exterior volumes that they've been making. And recently they've made a lot of this. So if you're into architecture and possibly you work with Blender, then you might want to consider taking a look at this one as they've been releasing tons and tons of pack over time. And their most recent one has to do with the volume 295. And this has a lot of things. So if you're looking at the bundle that comes with tons of models that you can work with, you can find these ones here. The Warehouse Industrial Models comes with over 130 models that you can use for both Cinema 4D, 3D Studio Max, and Blender. And it doesn't end there. There is also a lot of other ones for interiors and some interesting plants as well. So if you like to get any of these ones, you can simply come through and check them out, see all of the exteriors and interior stuff that they have, beautiful renders, properly made stuff, and this looks super cool. They've been doing a lot of things over time and they've also been partnering with some interesting Blender developers like the folks at Botanic. Additionally, they also work with some interesting tools as well. So if you would like to take a look at some of the scattered biomes or possibly you want to see some tools that they work with, then you might want to consider taking a look at Scatter, which is a just scatter tool from the folks at BD3D. This is one of the best scattering tools that exists for Blender. And of course, if you'd like to consider taking a look at this and see all of the cool update that now comes with 5.4, then this is also going to be linked in the description. And for those that would like to explore some of these interiors, exteriors, then links to this alongside links to the folks at Baniac is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And if you're into sculpting and you possibly want to get something that is totally free, then the folks at Zen Shaders have made your life super easy. As currently, they've released a free library pack that comes with a ton of things. And this is from their two collections that deals with the stylized brush edition and also the brushes from the human creature and zombie skin edition. And for those who like to actually look at those ones, you can definitely come and see them here as these comes with a ton of things. So this currently comes with 900 brushes and this other one, which is the stylized edition, comes with 550 brushes. So you can come through, check these ones out. They're super, super cool. We've talked about them before. These are super amazing stuff. Definitely go ahead and see these things, explore them. And the best part, you can use this with both Blender, Substance, and also ZBrush. Moreover, if you're looking for the free one, which is one that they just announced, this is currently available and from the stylized edition, they're offering 50 brushes. And these brushes includes categories from Bolt, buttons, cracks, creature, damage, fold for metals, you know, and so on. At the same time, they've also offered 70 brushes from the human creature and zombie skin edition. So you can definitely come through, grab these ones, and you can see all of the amazing things that comes with this. It is quite interesting to see that this is currently available for free. And for those who like to see this, explore it, test it, play with it before you make a purchase to get all of these other amazing ones, then you can simply come through and pick them up. And speaking of other things that you can pick up, if you're looking for fabric folding brushes, then you might want to consider taking a look at VK Game Dev as they have a brush pack for that. And these contains 33 brushes that you can use to do all that folding and sculpting. So if you're looking for stuff like this, you can definitely find this one super useful. 
at the same time, they do have some interesting brushes as well. So we already mentioned some time ago that they were offering some free brushes and for those that are trying to get some of these brushes for free, you can of course go ahead and check these ones out. So the sculpting brushes that they're offering, they're offering about 10 brushes from that. But for those that are trying to get all of these brushes that deals with tons of things like this, these are currently available, over 600 brushes are currently available right here. And you can come through and grab them. And if you're looking for more sculpting brushes, VK Game Dev does have some interesting ones as well. Trace Genius Pro now has a brand new update and this is currently doing a 30% off. The brand new update of Trace Genius Pro now makes using this tool even way better than it usually was. So the current version which is version 3.1 now allows you now allows you to efficiently trace objects. This now comes with an automatic unwrapping which you can use to unwrap the model and then apply the texture that you want. There's also some new updates to the parameters that now comes with this in terms of texturing and there's a new retrace functionality that is now available. With 3.1, you can now see a progress indicator telling you when an operation has been done completely. There is also the new save delete, as this cleans up your scene with ease as it safely deletes trace object alongside their other dependents, leaving no leftover data. And more updates are definitely coming to this. So for those who like to get this right now, Russell has definitely made a lot of improvements to this and you can get this for 30% off. Some other tool that is currently doing tracing, which I think you might want to consider taking a look at, is the image to 3D from CG Martha. And this is quite procedural, and this is the, the beautiful part about this one. It is fully procedural. All you need to do is drag in the piece that you want. Then you can use the image to 3D procedural modifier and get this going. So this doesn't have as much fancy tools and you know uh, parameters like we have with the Trace Genius Pro, but if you're just looking for something that you can use which is super procedural to convert images to 3d then this is definitely it one other thing that we need to mention about cg matters is there's a ton of things that he has on his page which are pretty cool so if you're looking for simple yet vital useful add-ons then you should definitely consider taking a look at this page as he's constantly updating this and making more cooler and nicer stuff right here and if you're into motion graphics, simulation, or possibly you're into physics, then you might simply want to consider taking a look at the extra nodes for geometry nodes by 3D Sig VFX. And the version 2.6 is now available, which offers a lot of things, which includes procedural particle system. And for those who are thinking about exploring this, possibly you're into motion graphics, and maybe you're looking for particle modifiers, particle effect tools you can use procedurally, then you would definitely find these ones super, super useful. Tracer nodes are also available with this, which is also super Super interesting. They've introduced a couple of nice things to this one, which includes, you know, the scatter node. There's also the memory fall off node, which is really, really cool, especially for those that are into motion graphics. And tons of these things are right here. So if you'd like to take advantage of all of these nodes that are currently available and explore the version 2.6 of the extra nodes, then you can simply go over to 3D Seek VFX and grab them now. And for those that are into swarm creation, Joe Swarm is an interesting tool for creating swarms. So if you're thinking about creating crawlers, insects, you know, with tons of parameters for controlling them, we've already made a full video about this one, but just in case you missed that and you like to consider taking a look at this, then this is also available. And of course, you can come through and grab it too. Recently, Kasuship did release a beautiful sci-fi texture generator, and this is currently doing a 25% offer. The sci-fi texture generator tool is highly customizable, allowing artists to easily create materials that they desire with a couple of clicks, as it comes with 29 presets which are ready to go, and a stackable multi-layer preset that allows you to make different variations of what you want. This offers a one-click automated batch exporting for those who like to send this over to other DCC tools to start creating even more. And if you like to play with parameters, this also comes with tons of parameters for individual textures which makes it super flexible and intuitive for you to customize and create the kind of patterns that you want. Additionally, this comes with 6 Blender project files for those who like to explore how these things are made. More so, if you're looking for some interesting stuff, then Cassie Sheep does have a ton of these on the page as well. So you can simply come through, check out some of these ones. We've already covered most of these ones on the channel before and they look really, really cool. The sci-fi library is also another interesting one that they've created. And for those who like to explore this as well, 
then links to this is going to be in the description. And finally, here's a few things on Humble Bundle that you might find interesting, and one of them has to do with the game Atom Blender 2024. And this is a partnership alongside the folks at Game Dev TV, and it has a couple of interesting things that you can get right here. And all of these courses are currently available for a massive steal. So instead of getting these courses for about 1,559 euros, you can simply get this for 27.47. So whether you're looking at animation and rigging course, or maybe you're looking for some characters, or maybe some brushes, or possibly some texturing course, this is now available and you can get this for a massive steal. Another interesting one that is now here as well is the Blender Market Best of 2024. So this covers most of the highly rated add-ons that you can get off Blender Market. So we've talked about this one before and it is quite interesting what you have. However, the only downside to this is this would not be having an update. However, getting all of these add-ons at this point for this price tag is a massive steal. Instead of paying 1,133, you're paying 32.19 to get all of this. And believe me, update or no update, it's a massive steal to get these things. I mean, real-time materials, the materials is definitely going to work either ways. The VDB clouds that you get with these and also the asset browser tools that you get with these, alongside most of these other ones, are definitely going to work with any version of Blender moving forward. And it is a massive steal to get these ones. These are pretty cool and new ones that are also available. So just in case you like to grab them, these are some of the bundles that are now available on Humble Bundle for Blender artists that you can definitely pick up. However, if you're into games or maybe music there are some nice ones that are available as well and i'm gonna link these ones in the description too so this is it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section tons of add-ons tons of free stuff tons of discounts and also tons of amazing things for you to grab and start creating with tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace